All right, so here are the three best places to visit in Hollister, California. Number one on our list is the Hollister Airport. You have the Bay Area glider rides and the Hollister Jet Center. Here you can take a look at all of the local planes flying by. There's small ones, old ones, new ones, everything you want to see. It's pretty much in the sky. If you're nice and friendly to the staff, they'll go ahead and let you look at the planes up close, meet the pilots, and even check out the garage like I did. They have tons of stuff being worked on here and just surprises you. They also have lessons here if you want to become a pilot with a glider or a normal traditional airplane. You totally could. Just look at their website for their rates. Next on our list, not too far down the road, is Tag Paintball. They have laser tag. They have tons of uh, matches here that they host. Looks like a third world country movie set, which is awesome. Here, everybody gets intense when the moment arrives to start shooting each other with paintballs, which is why I got a mask. They actually gave me one for free, which is really nice of them, to avoid this. <laughs> if you're an adrenaline junkie, this is totally for you. It's tons of fun if you really want it to be. Afterwards, I met with some of the guys there. They were super friendly. So if you want to come and just meet strangers and have fun doing something, this is the place to go to in Hollister. Definitely recommend. The last on our list is Casa de Fruta. Over here, it's a fruit stand, but so much more. They have like a gift shop, train ride, and they even have wine and deli restaurant. I tried the wine from their locally bottled wine. So they bottled wine, they bottle jams, they bottle olive oil, and other products like almonds and olives themselves. You also have to check out Casa de Sweets, which is where they have all the trinkets and toys and sweets a lot of stuff for the kids because after all this is kind of a family friendly place so you can bring the whole family they have an ice cream shop here too which i love it's pretty cheap as well also here's where you get the train tickets for the choo-choo train that comes every like 20 minutes so don't miss the casa de choo-choo i loved it i got inside and it feels like a movie set for like a farm movie or something and yeah tons of decorations tons of aesthetic for farming farm aesthetic <laughs> but yeah overall i'd come here another time especially if a family to enjoy the treats and all the things it has to offer it's like a little amusement park and just remember bitty city passport